Finally, we have a pink powder that I think everyone is going to be pumped about. It's called Cover Blush. It has just enough of sparkle for you to get excited about. And I'm here to show you how you're going to use this with your black acrylic and create the perfect party nail. This is what you're gonna do, check it out. I stress, I stress, and I will continue to stress how important preparation is. You must push the cuticles back before you thoroughly remove shine from the natural nail. Again, when I use my Arbor Band, I wanna be able to remove shine, not aggressively, but gently from the natural nail. So again, we don't need to use pressure. All we need to do is let the electric file do the work for us. How do we do that? By gently touching the surface of the natural nail and allowing the machine to do all the work for us. I usually start from the corner, I work around, tickle tickle, coochie coo, coochie coochie coo. All right, once we are done removing shine from the natural nail, I'm going to use swipe, and we're going to cleanse the surface of the natural nail of dust, oils, and contaminants, which is going to set you up for protein bond application. Once we are done, we're going to take protein bond and we're going to apply it from cuticle to free edge, going through all 10 nails. When you are done with the 10th nail, you're going to go back and do the same exact thing. Apply your second coat and set yourself up for success. We are now ready for application. Before we actually put on our forms, I'm going to sculpt the body with the new cover blush. So, what does it look like? As you can see, it just sparkles with perfection. The key to successful reverse application is allowing the product to work with you, not against you. And what I mean by that is you have to let gravity help you. So we wanna be able to keep the finger pointed down towards the towel. If you have the finger up like this, the product has nowhere to go but down towards the cuticle area and the growth channels. We wanna be able to keep it down, maybe between a 30 and 45 degree angle. And again, when we're setting our pearl to the cuticle area, one of the things I try to focus on is keeping the pearl behind the tip of the brush, not pushing it towards the cuticle. We wanna make sure the brush is behind the acrylic pearl, allowing it room to run towards the free edge. So, I'm going to submerse my brush, I'm going to set it on the surface, I'm going to allow the brush to pick up the pearl, I'm going to set it right to the cuticle area, and again, notice that I can work the cuticle area nice and flush, allowing the product to start to self-level down towards the area of strength. The workability of Cover Blush is unbelievable. It will actually stay into place and allow you to work it into the perfect position. I'm going to bring it down towards the very center of my smile line, and I'm going to use the side of my brush to tuck the smile line back. I'm not going to cut. If I cut, I'm gonna create separation between the acrylic and the natural nail. The area that you want to tuck back with, as you can see on the brush, you flatten this out, is right here on the side. Right here on the side. Do not use the whole entire side or the tip. Use the very edge, and this will allow you, as you can see, to tuck back, tuck back, and I go to the other side and do the exact same thing. All right, perfect. Once I am done building the perfect smile line, I am now ready to apply my form and get ready to sculpt the free edge. I'm now going to take a nail form, apply the tab underneath the center, pre-pinch, 
allowing me to create the perfect C curve. When I get it onto the finger, again, I wanna make sure that it's touching flush to the natural nail. I'm going to pucker the form and we're going to build the free edge with rainbow black acrylic. I'm going to get a nice healthy pearl. I'm going to tap out the excess monomer. I'm going to butt it right up to the smile line. I'm going to tuck it forward, spreading it out nice and even. I'm going to walk down the side, get it even with the growth channel, walk from the top, do the same thing, continue to walk all the way up to the corner, back over the top, back over the top, get it even with the growth channel, walk from the top, even with the growth channel, walk with the body, the brush, all the way to the corner, matching it from side to side, and bringing the product nice and square and nice and even. Again, it doesn't matter, I wanna show you, it doesn't matter if you run acrylic past the pink because with the application, it's going to allow you to file the smile line perfectly into shape. One of the things I like to do to ensure that we get a really good cure when it comes to using this type of pigment rich powder is by using the Speed Clear and put a nice thin coat over the tip. We don't want to bulk it up. We just want to apply a nice thin coat and that will give it just enough of an assistance so that it cures perfectly for you to file into shape. All right, I'm going to allow that to dry. And once it's finished, we're going to file into perfection. Once the product sets, we're going to remove the form. Again, what I want to be able to do is try to pinch in enough C-curve to give it added strength. I want to use my magic wand just to gently pinch in right at the sides. And we're going to get ready for our file and finishing procedures. We're going to begin by filing the sides and the front. Notice how I'm keeping the file dead straight. I'm not bringing it in dead straight on both sides. I'm going to file my lower arch by keeping it parallel, starting from the tip and filing up to the corner. I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. Once we are done filing the perimeter in shape, I'm going to take my safety bit and we're going to use the eye formation roadmap to file it into perfection. I'm going to start from the cuticle area. I'm going to work down towards the front of the nail. I'm going to come behind the smile line from zone three, working to zone two, again on the barrel, zone three here, zone two here, zone one in one direction towards yourself. Once we are done filing it perfectly into shape from side to side, I'm going to come around the cuticle area in one direction. And once we're done doing that, all I have to do is file through the whole entire surface to remove any imperfections and finish off the shaping. I'm going to use my hand file to file out any imperfections. Once we are done doing that, I'm going to take my sponge Take a little bit of swipe. And as you can see, try to add the finished gel. It's gonna go inside the light. We're going to cure it for two minutes. Once 
The finish gel has cured. I'm going to take rose oil and condition the cuticle area and hyponychium. And as you can see, the cover blush really shows its shine.